Okay, so in this step, we're gonna put the launch lug onto our model rocket. Now, if we look here, you'll see that there's a lot of fins, but there's only one launch lug, and you can see it doesn't interfere with a fin, so it's in the clear, so it has to be clear all the way there. What is this thing for? Well, the launch lug is what basically, the fins are what gonna keep it flying straight. Once the rocket's moving through the air and the wind is blowing over the fins, and the rocket's going fast enough, it'll work really well. But until the rocket gets up to speed, the fins will not work. So in, to get it up to speed, we put it on a, line, uh, a rod and it goes and it slides on there. And by the time it gets to the top and slides off, it's fast enough to where the fins will work to keep the thing going straight. So today we're gonna add our launch lug. And I wanted to show you this. This is what it's like. So you can see we have a, a launch rod here. And watch what this guy does. He's going to take the rocket and slide it on the launch lug, which is that little straw, and it's going to slide all the way down. Check it out. So this is what he does when he puts it on, and it slides down. And now that's locked on that little rail until it gets up to a few feet. And at the end, we can watch it as it goes. So at the end, it will go off of that rod. Okay, so let's get that thing attached. So for this step, you're obviously gonna need the launch lug. That's this little thing that looks like a milk straw, kind of from the cafeteria. This thing will help us put it on there so it goes on there perfectly straight. This is not part of the rocket, it's just gonna be tool we use to align it up. Obviously we're gonna need that rocket that we glued the fins on in the last step. And you'll see this extra line right there on the tube. That's where our launch lug is gonna go. We're gonna need some glue to glue it on. And here I've got a little post-it note to put my glue on so it doesn't get on the table. All right, so here we are in our instructions. Last time we glued the fins on, and this time we're just gonna glue, we're gonna do this part right here. We're gonna be gluing this on. Now, if we look here, this is to glue it up five centimeters from the bottom exactly on that little line and then what they don't say though that we're going to do is we're going to use this to make sure it's perfectly straight make it real easy to get it right and one thing i didn't have out there earlier you're going to need is a pencil to mark where it goes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my ruler and i'm going to look for five centimeters so from zero to five centimeters you could also use two inches is what it says so you could use from zero to two inches so let's get five centimeters up Careful with your fins that you just put on. We don't want those to crack and break off. And put a mark right at five centimeters. And it says, according to this, that's gonna be the bottom. So it's gonna be five centimeters. Then we go up from there, okay? So let's get our glue ready. I'm gonna put a line of glue on my piece of paper here, just a little bit. This doesn't take too much. That should be plenty. That's actually way more than we probably need. Okay, so for this part, pretty simple. Hard to do this. <laughs> so I got that. I'm gonna set that in there. Got a bit of glue on there. Make sure it's all the way to both ends. I'm gonna set this pretty close on the line. So it's on the line or pretty close to it. And then I'm gonna use this, move it a little bit. And I'm gonna use this. And notice how it's lined up with the bottom of it is lined up with that little mark. I'm just gonna put this on there. And you can adjust it a little bit right on that line. You can see that's exactly where we want it. And because we're holding this down, don't now don't crush your tube or anything. It doesn't have to be held that tight. Because we're holding this down, this thing should be lined up straight. So I'm gonna leave that here for a minute and then I'll take it off and let it dry, but make sure that I don't touch it. Okay, so we're back now and carefully I'm gonna slide that thing off of here. And now you can see I've got that glued on there pretty well. I don't wanna mess with it yet, it's still too loose. I don't wanna touch it or anything. So I'm gonna set this someplace safe where it's not gonna get bumped until that piece dries up a little bit. All right, in the next one, we will reinforce the fillets on our fins. So 
Now let's take a look and see where we're at with our build as far as the instructions go. So we just, in the last video, we did these two steps, took the fins on, and now we're done with this one. In the next video, we are going to put apply fin fillets, which will make our fins a little bit stronger. This step, the next step we're gonna do is not in the instructions, but we're gonna do it because that makes a better rocket that is much more durable so that the fins don't snap off the first time it comes to the ground. Hey, thanks everybody.